<laughs> but I was led in the right direction. Maybe, what is that then? We gotta stick our forehead in this hole. Hello and welcome back to LP's LP of Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last episode, we made our way to our first dungeon in a long friggin' time, and it's called Aqua Rock, where today I am going to be attempting to complete it. At the very least, I'll be able to complete this puzzle, which is where we left off yesterday. It's very similar in its personality and style to a couple of the other puzzles we've come across earlier in this specific dungeon. Uh, essentially, what we have to do here, if you missed yesterday's episode... Hey! That's fine. I get it. Anyways, uh, what we have to do here is move these lines so that they line up. And I know that probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you're unfamiliar, but you see how there's right angles on all of them. A current is going to travel. It's going to hop back and forth through each and every one of them. Uh, well, maybe not each and every one of them, but the ones that are aligned with one another. And hopefully, it wraps up in a way that drops the current off there to the right on that little circle. And I don't think we'll need two of these. Uh, three or four of them are locked into place, and two of the ones we don't need are ones that are locked into place. So there is that. The final placement here, and we'll see. We'll fill this guy. Let's hydrate some head here. Uh, douse him up. And then we will also douse the stone to see if I was correct here. If I wasn't correct, well, it can't be too far off, right? <laughs> I feel really confident about this, and what's more, we can walk on this current, too. So let's see, is it gonna take us to the promised ham? Oh, Jiminy Christmas, it sure did. We're having bacon tonight! Maybe later. Uh, right now, I guess we're going interesting here. This is very precariously placed. Just one tile too far for me to jump. But why? I wish to jump. I guess we'll have to jump on the sea dragon with our weapons. And, th and then maybe we'll, we'll jump for joy when we get to uh, experience the experience point boost at the end of it. Because I think we're getting relatively close to a new level. Uh, we've been leveling up a lot. No, no such luck. Let's double check that, actually. Very curious. Yeah, Felix and Piers are both less than 1,500 points away, which is uh, like two battles. So that goes over, but why? Oh, hi. What's up there, baby? Can we... What do we do here? Can we freeze this? Is that... Can we make it extra juicy and then the Ginny will, like, float up to us and thank us for our juiciness? No! Okay, I guess we've got but one way to go, and we'll get an opportunity to go introduce ourselves to that friend later. I really wish it would get a friggin' Venus one. <laughs> that would be our sixth Mercury Jenny. Pierce can't even hold that much. His hands are too full. It's like that meme. I got too many Jenny. We can go up there and go to the left, or we can go here and do nothing at all. Great, I think the decision's been made for us. Hello. Lots of sea dragons. And they take all four of us to eliminate. Unless, of course, yeah, I say unless, of course, the right person gets a critical. And then they're relatively quickly dealt with. And then the giant chickens are three. Piers levels up to 24 and learned Glacier. Glacier Freeze. He's going to be spraying Gatorade all over the place. Let's check that out. It's got to be a, an offensive synergy that's quite large. Yes, it is. Uh, only three wide, which means it'll be pretty strong. Uh, speaking of pretty strong, Kirwell is strong and Felix needs that now. So onward to the oh, to the south. I was like, wait a minute, what are we doing? <laughs> you can't scroodle me, game. Now this feels like a mimic. I don't know. It's a mimic, isn't it? That's what I thought. I mean, it's just too easy to get to. I could smell the mimics, all right? They smell like garlic and treachery. Not too dissimilar from one Mr. Wario. In fact, I think they're related. Yes, Wario's mother was a box. And his father was a con man. Uh, dang, that's actually a pretty strong box, so let's let's put Jenna on healing duty. Thankfully, the box is delusional. Uh, and then Felix, strike with a massive sword, healing aura. Do we want to do anything here? I guess let's boost Felix's attack for that maneuver. And then Piers, why don't we just test out Glacier? Let's give it a good... Oh, she was bound and can't move. Great. Don't you just love to see that? No, I hate it. That curse is really getting a little bit inconvenient at times. It's a strong weapon, the cursed one, but it's just, I don't know, it's its inconsistent, so perhaps we'll look to replace that at the next town that we stop in. Uh, I think, honestly, I think that the physical attacks might be best 
all in all, I'm still going to try and buff Felix here with impact. Oh, actually, high impact. Boost everyone. There's no need to be greedy, Felix. Everyone deserves to be equally capable of stabbing this box right in its boxy soul. We killed it. Look at that. Good job, Jenna. Leveling up Felix to 25. Beautiful. You got a potion? You got a potion? We could spray it all over our bodies. Maybe later in celebration. As for now, we are in the synergy room, which is great. Uh, we don't even actually need it, I suppose. Whatever. Cast aura so everyone's fully healthy. Talk to this thing. Talk to it. Perfect. Everyone's pee, -pee was replenished, just as God intended. And we've exited into a very beautiful central-looking chamber. Let's not freeze the giant teardrop. Excuse me. Let's douse. And then it doesn't look like we can move any of those blocks. They're already moved for us. So let's head to the... Oh, let's, let's go super left. This one's not a mimic. This is a friend. Ooh, Lucky Pepper. That's going to boost our luck. Who has the worst luck? Uh, Felix and Jenna. Look at that. The two people from Vale. No wonder. <laughs> they had a pretty traumatizing experience when they were kids in Vale. You know what I'm saying? And we are running out of inventory space right quickly, actually. We've got a bunch of nuts in our friggin' pants, too. Hmm. I'm going to make Felix lucky. And I'm... A, who, does anyone got else any sleep bombs or anything? No. Gosh darn it. I was hoping that we could maybe consolidate some things. Uh, Felix, give the nuts to Piers, trade it for the lucky pepper, and then eat that pepper. Delicious. Don't you just love to see it? Boosted to seven, so Felix goes from the least lucky to least lucky to the most, tied with Sheba. Next, of course, we'll have to get Jenna some good old-fashioned liquid luck. Uh, this... Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, I see a treasure! And that treasure, and that treasure feels extra treasury, you know what I'm saying? It's on a freaking pedestal. Anytime you place something on a pedestal, it's good, right? You have a pedestal at your home, number one, you're probably pretty well off. But you got a pedestal at your home, you're not putting a friggin' like bacon and cheese tortilla wrap up there. No! You're putting like your grandmother's ashes or your first place prize at making bacon cheese tortilla wraps. Or you get the Aquarius stone. I'm a Leo. What is this? A stone that leads the chosen one. It's important. What does that mean? I don't... I don't have... Do we need to put it in that little orifice down there? Not quite certain what we're supposed to be doing with it, but... We've been over here, haven't we? Mm, I don't know. This feels weird. I don't remember climbing down all this stuff. But, uh, we could exit twice? Two different ways? Eh, this place is sprawling. And the the brain cells inside of my forehead are crawling. Because they're, they're firing on all cylinders. I'm not certain what exactly is going to happen here. Uh, and I need... To, oh, God, why is this so huge? Why are there so many doors we can go through? I'm going to forget. Wait. Wait, what? We've been here? We have been here. Hold the phone. Let's, let's go back. I think that... I think, I think we're backtracking a little bit. It seemed new to me. Maybe it is in some capacity. Like, maybe there was water here, so we couldn't go down these steps. Now we can. I mean, we came from there. I don't actually know about that, because there's nothing up on that ledge. Hmm. What if we go this way? Let's double check here. This looks... Also relatively familiar, but I do spy an unopened chest, so perhaps it is not... Someplace we've been before. Either that, or it's the chest may have been underwater too. I didn't get the greatest of looks at it. Come on, you big bird. We're having jambalaya tonight, and you're the main course. The chicken. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll make the sea dragon into something else special. So, yeah, this is still full over here. I don't know how we would go about doing anything there, but we have been here in this specific room. I do remember this now, so let's exit. Go back up here. Continue to fight everyone that we come across. Can we kill the lizard fighter in three? We're tempting fate here. Yes, we can. <laughs> Meaning Felix gets a shot on the sea dragon. Hot dog. Cool. Well, that was the first time we timed that up properly. I mean, the sea dragon's going to die in two here. Nice. And Jenna levels up to 25. Beautiful. Don't you love to see it? So I, we got to do something over there. I feel like. I mean, I guess I don't know. Truth be told, I don't really know 
what it's expecting of us right now at all. What if we go through these doors, huh? These, these doors are just the upstairs version of where we already were. Okay. It would have been nice if, uh, you know, inspecting the Aquarius Stone, it says something other than, oh, hey, it's important. Like, you don't say, huh? You don't say. It's important, really? Surprise, surprise. Uh, no, God, of course it's important. Look at it. It's a freaking gem. Oh, wait a minute. We can go this way. Wait, didn't, we came from this way. Never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> that looked important. I got excited. Oh, God. Fine. Um, so what are these jumpers? There's some jumper dumpers right there. We can get to from over here. Where do these take us then, hmm? No, no, nowhere at all. Per perfect. Yes, just as I had hoped. Okay, I do believe we've come out of this door before. We'll, we'll check. Yeah. Because we definitely pushed that thing, right? Give it a look. I mean, we had to have pushed it, right? Because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to go anywhere else. Yes, we have gone this way. We came up here. Walked the tightrope. All right. Let's figure this out. There's got to be something. Something that we missed in this room specifically. And it's not these guys, all right? How could you miss them? They smell like tortillas and garlic. And I love it. It's delicious. It makes me want to have lunch real bad. And um, you know, maybe we could eat them. Maybe. I mean, they look kind of like the chicken as well. The variety. He's got wings. Chickens have wings. Chickens don't fly. This guy's not flying. I mean, the similarities here are astounding. Truly. Good night, sweet prince. I suppose we'll not eat you today. So, where we picked this stone up, is there anything we can learn about it right here? We came here, we got this stone. Check the chest. Yeah, the chest is empty. Surprise, surprise. It's kicked open. We were just here. The Aquarius stone, huh? It leads the chosen one. Will lead me. Do I gotta give it to Piers? Is Piers the chosen one? No, it's the the stone is not leading anyone. Maybe maybe we're not as chosen as I had hoped. Mm, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I do expect that I need to put it in that thing, but I really don't know how to get there. Uh, the only path downward is over this direction. Hello. Yes, of course the chicken requires attention. I do know it. You guys are quite nasty buggers. Uh, we'll deal with you and take your coins. Thankfully, they're all very wealthy chickens. Truly, if we have to battle that many giant chickens, I appreciate them being wealthy. So, there, there'd be nothing over there. Unless there's like a, a separate entrance over here? Can we... Let me, let me see. We didn't actually, I guess, investigate this place a whole lot. Because I do feel like I've been here before. I'm like 99.99.99.99. Starting to sound more like an IP address than a percentage. But I'm very certain, all right, that I have been here. And I mean, there is a door. Um, well, I don't know what this is. This is not what I was looking for. Felix, check the column. It's a column with a spot where you can place something. Oh, well, maybe that's this. I mean, I was wrong with where we put it, but, <laughs> but I was led in the right direction. Maybe, what is that then? We gotta stick our forehead in this hole so that they can be imbued with the knowledge. No, it's a door. Okay, boss time. This feels pretty arena-like to me. This feels like a thing. Oh, okay, really, we gotta go around. Come now. No, it's a summon. Fascinating, is that the penultimate reward for this? Felix, check the tablet. It looks like there are strange characters carved on it. Wielder of water's strength, lay your hands upon this stone. If thou art worthy, the power to drain away the standing water shall be yours. Water strength, huh? That sounds like my sort of thing, doesn't it? I'm a juicy boy. There, I'll touch this stone. Piers tried to touch the stone slate. Inter it's a synergy, then, not a summon. Now, what did it said? The power to drain away the water? So that's probably going to help us get that Ginny. Uh, I don't even remember where it is. Piers learned to parch. And looks like the game wants us to put it into effect right away. What went wrong? What are we going to do, Felix? Maybe our power is being tested. There! Our power to swim! No, we can't do that. Are you kidding me? Get our clothes wet in a time like this? That's illegal. Parch. Uh, evaporate standing water. And I have set that to hotkey R. And very much as described, it drains away the water. So I already... Mm, 
Beyond just the Ginny in this dungeon, I can think of a number of locations where that would come in handy to help us. Uh, I think back, I think at the island, there was a, a treasure chest we couldn't get because it was in the water. There was another treasure chest here we couldn't get that was in the water. There was also that lighthouse down in friggin' Antarctica that we could not access. Let's drain this baby right here. Barch it up! Let's get this chest here! How do we actually get in here again? I don't... Mmm... Hold on. We're supposed to come from a different location, it would seem to me. I saw, I saw a ladder. A stone ladder on the other piece of, piece of stone masonry. I don't, I don't think we can actually get to it over here, unless I'm wrong, which I hope I am. I am! Yay! And we can go somewhere else entirely through there. Very cool. We've gotten a rusty sword. So another item to take back to, uh, what was it, Yalom, the blacksmith. We have him cooking an item right now. Thankfully, that is kind of on our way to Antarctica. So we will uh, we'll stop over there after we exit this place. Can't forget the Jenny, even though we are rapidly outpacing Felix's stores of Venus Jenny. It's fine. The more Jenny, the better. Doesn't matter what kind we have. Let's see, what does this do? Is this exit? It does exit. Let me back, let me back, let me back. I don't want to leave just yet. <laughs> I got a Jenny friend that I need to acquire. All right. And if I remember correctly, he wasn't too far from us, perhaps, I guess. I don't... Well, this is getting convoluted here. I don't... I don't think that's the way to go. What if we go up, huh? What if we just kill everything? Golly gee Williger, it's amazing that this many giant beasts are existing in this one place at one time. Alright, I mean, look how large they are. Well, how tall, how tall are our party members? At least, like, five and a half feet tall, all of them. Piers looks taller, maybe he's like six foot tall, so that means those demons are like seven feet tall. And there's gosh darn dozens of them. What are they eating? <laughs> Other adventurers, probably? Um, I think actually we came this way, so I'm getting all turned around. Let's just... Let's, let's, let's go find the Jenny. It's, it's somewhere back where we were. I mean, we saw it today, right? So if we just retrace our steps that we took most recently, we should get there. I think getting through the waterfall up here and going through the Synergy Stone Room will probably be beneficial. That might, in fact, take us directly there. I can't imagine that it's very much further from that because this episode so far, I mean, while we are close to the end, it's not a, it's not a long episode. There's only so, so much distance that our small little feet can can traverse, you know what I'm saying? Do we do we require a heal? Sure. Let's let's do that. Touch the stone. Rub the stone. We should take that stone with us. You know what I'm saying? We got Craven, who's practically friggin' useless. Why not take the stone too? So this is not the room. More ginormous chickens. Don't you just hate to see it? We need we should do some specials here so we can kill this dude. There we go. Left one's dead. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then one more. Good, Sheba. Glad, glad you're paralyzed. Why don't you just love to see it? Uh, nope. That's that's incorrect. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I drained this water. Probably be bad, I, I would imagine. Maybe it wouldn't even let me, is the thing. And here is the room that I crave. Oh, look. I could have come in through here, couldn't I? Yes, I sure could. So, wait. Will this even work? Maybe it's not going to work like I think it will. I'm going to use Parch on this... This dude, I suppose, this this head. And maybe that will empty his basin. The parched synergy says that it, it evaporates bodies of water. Where do we draw the line between like bodies and, and basins and puddles? No, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. How the heck do I get over there? It looks like we could go up and then what? Freeze that or something? Or then up and evaporate from that side? We need to go to the right this direction, in some capacity. Hmm. Let's see, I, I feel like I've been here before, but we have yet to, to attempt this, specifically. Oh no, what the crap, I haven't been here. Jiminy Christmas. This place is big. I don't think it's as big as Ayers Rock, uh, which as I understand it is the largest dungeon in both Golden Sun games, but it's pretty big. Aqua Rock here is very big. And given the fact that we've done an Airs Rock and now an Aqua Rock, I'd have to imagine we're going to have a, uh, like an Earth Rock and a Fire Rock just to wrap things up here for our party. Sheba is level 25 now. Perfect. Beers, you're the only one. So now do we evaporate this? Looks like we do. Juice that head. 
And now the Jenny's gonna be right pissed off. Like, what the heck, man? I was taking a shower. Now I'm all dry. I didn't bring my shea butter. It's okay, buddy. I've got some butter for you. I've got some lubricating lotion, and its name is Felix. He'll lubricate you right quickly with the effects of his sword. Mercury. I wanted to say Mars, which would have been neat. Uh, you there, Sheba, do a high-impact buff for all of us. Get us all nice and ready to slap this thing into friendship. Hail Prism. Pretty friggin' effective. Gemini Christmas. Heat Mirage, 143. Ragnarok, looks like we're gonna do uh, almost 400 points of damage, over 400 points of damage on the first turn. If we can get a big beefer. No, Sheba misses. Sheba's nearly dead. We gotta kill this dude this turn. Perfect. We sure did. Now join the team, son. And then we'll have to decide which of the two extra Mercury Jenny we want to divvy up to Piers. Because now we've got Fog and Steam. Blind an enemy, increase all allies' elemental strength. I'm gonna give that one to Piers. We don't use the Jenny very often. Um, watch this. Look at how much. He gains 10 HP and freaking 6 attack just by having that. We don't we don't use the Jenny all that often. But it's good to have. Okay, also good to have is a healthy party, so Jenna, thank you very much. And also good to have is a rapid retreat. You know what else is good to have? $500,000, but you can't have everything. So we'll take our leave from Aqua Rock. I'd have to imagine we have exactly what we came here for. And now it's time to head elsewhere. We'll stop back at the town. Oh, please wash me down. Come on, thank you. We'll stop back at the town here. Because I do believe there was something for us to, to grab with our ability now to dehydrate bodies of water. Don't accidentally cast that on yourself there, Piers. You'll shrivel up like a bacon. One singular bacon. Indeed, it'll be heinous. Uh, hopefully we can fell two of these. Flash Force uh, will go a long way at felling big chicken. Sleep doesn't help. No, Piers. Gosh darn it. And there you are. Okay, so... Jenna and Sheba accost the left fairy. Perfect. And Felix will wrap up the... Please don't go to sleep, Felix. You wake up. Okay, good. Half the party's asleep. <laughs> and we're stealing fairy nuts. It's heinous. It's fine. Oh, no, we entered. Oh, no, we exited. Perfect, just as I intended. Now, we'll head back up to... Uh, gosh darn it. I keep wanting to call it Akiji. Like Admiral Akiji from One Piece. That's not it. Get out of here, Blood pressure, Meryl, with your spork. You've been hanging out at KFC, haven't you? I know the telltale sign of the f inflamed red skin that just screams. I've been eating fried chicken. All right, we've all been there. We've all been there, but li little little Merrells like yourself should not be eating the fried chicken. All right, you should be eating a nice healthy diet of berries. All right, just like a good Pokemon. You there, sea chicken and insect chicken. Oh god, we've tripled up on the insect chicken. Hopefully, hopefully we can one-hit this the sea chicken. No, we missed the sea chicken! Eliminate the sea chicken all at once, everyone. Accost him. Very good. Now, we can exit. And we'll see here. So we could exit even further to the right? We didn't do that. Did we? I don't, I don't know. So we can't go that way. No, we did. We did go to the right. I don't know. I forget things all the time. It's just part of being me. <laughs> we go to the right here. No, yeah, so it did not exit. And maybe we can't actually do anything here. Huh. Parch! Dehydrate this water! Pierce's like, oh my god, man, it's the sea! There's too much! Okay, so apparently not. Yeah, don't know how we would go down and get you, friend. I really don't. We need a way to, like, grab. Is it... We've used Reveal here, right? Yeah. We need a long-distance lash. We need to be able to grab that rope and bring it over here. I think. I guess I don't necessarily know that. Let's go back into the town. There's bodies of water there. And we'll see if there's anything we can... We can doodle from that. Um, that's an interesting sort of thing. Huh. I'm sick of living on this boring paradise! Jeez, dude. Hey, you've got it rough, don't you? Real rough. Um... Parch? We dehydrate their only fresh water source? No? No, perhaps not. I think you can only dehydrate water sources that are, like... 
very specifically and explicitly uh, possessing a bottom. <laughs> like this, you can't see the bottom, but there's other water where you can. You know what I'm saying? And I guess those ones would be the ones to, uh, to dehydrate. The ones that I can think of immediately are all the way back down in Antarctica. Which is fine. Which is fine. Maybe we, maybe we should go there? Like, the enemies were tougher. And we need to go to Yalom, right? It's such a shame that this crap is here. Otherwise, we could just port right next to Yalom. Now we gotta kind of walk through. But there were a couple other... A couple other things here to investigate, you know what I'm saying? Like, we haven't, we haven't explored these. And we're real close to this one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go up here and just check it off our list. That way, you know, because undoubtedly, all the other places are going to be the same, right? Like, there, I, I am ex... What the heck? How are you going to get to that? More sea chickens! There's going to be a number of other elemental locations, right? Like I was mentioning, Airs Rock, Aqua Rock, and probably going to get a synergy from each one. Because we got Reveal from Airs Rock for Sheba, right? So we got to get something for Jenna and something for Felix. Uh, honestly, I'd hazard a guess, too, based on the things we've seen, that the one that we get for Felix has something to do with the sand that we saw at the Ankle Ruins, right? We couldn't access, really, any of the Ankle Ruins without getting into the sand, at least it looked like. Sea of Time Islet. Interesting. So I'd have to imagine that's the case. You used to be able to dive into the ocean and find all sorts of treasures in the reefs. I like to think all that stuff was a gift from the deep. A gift for me! And no one else, only me. My fish, not your fish, mine. What a guy. There's a tortoise! A turtle? Some sort of shelled creature. Let's go over there and say hi. Wait. Wait. Yep, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta cast reveal here just to see. Anything in here? Nope, nothing for us. Move on. And what does the turtle have to say? Hi there, buddy. Yeah. The, the turtle is notoriously bad at conversational skills. Mind read, we'll help you out here. I'm so very lonely. I can use a friend. Well, we'll be your friend. Yay, Splashes! Probably wants another turtle friend. I don't know where I would begin to uh, to acquire one of those for you, buddy, but I'll keep it in mind. It's a very small islet. The temperature of the ocean has been rising. The waters are hottest at the sea of time. I sure hope Poseidon hasn't surfaced again. He was once a king, but now he's a monster. I'm not the monster here, you are. So I thought there was a south from here. Let me go back to the overworld. Because there's definitely a cave. I guess it's a cave we couldn't get to. Weird. Very weird. So I don't know what that's about. This was, uh, not super fruitful. Yeah, there's no accessing that. What is that? Oh, it tantalizes me. It teases me. Drives me insane. Pokes me in the eye and calls me Mary. Which is my aunt. I know we look alike, but that's not my name. Oh well, I guess that's a topic for another time. Just like our ascent or descent back to Antarctica is a topic for next time. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed yourself. If you did, well, I hope I see you then.